hi guys so watch me as i recreate this beautiful hair on my daughter for her cultural day yeah my kids will be having their cultural day so i thought of making this hair so guys and I, I had to go and change my clothes and wear something more moderate because my ties were showing on the first outfit i was wearing so this is the hair my daughter will be representing River State. So I thought of the hairstyle that I can make her and she can be able to wear her cap. You know, River's attire is not complete without their cap. So I got this hairstyle and I decided to try it on on my daughter. Okay, so... As you can see, we almost rounding up. It's remaining to make the outer part of the hair. You know, the hair looks cultural, like it looks like South African hairstyle and all those kind of Amazon woman hair, and you know. So I decided to try it. At, at the back, I'm going to be crocheting this kinky at the back. On the hair we are recreating, I think she folded her own hair. Yeah, as you can see, but I th I wanted to fold my daughter's hair, but I thought leaving it like this looks more beautiful and different. So I liked it like this without folding. So I I had to, I decided to leave it like this. You know, when you are recreating something, you can add your own creativity. So my daughter was telling me that I should fold it. I told her, no, I'm not going to fold it. That is more beautiful like this than folding the kinky. So I had to just trim it a little bit. And wow, this is their cultural day. Guys, this is the cap I'm telling you about. So she can be able to wear the cap. So this is how they look on their cultural day. My daughter is representing River State. My son is Yoruba, while my little girl is Igbo. Guys, can you see them? <laughs> so, rate their outfits. Guys, to tie this reverse wrapper wasn't easy.